a 10 minute talk show, the talk show that is 10 minutes length. I'm Derek Forgey, that's the band. That's Molly Davis right there, folks. That's the band, Shazam. Uh, I'm feeling good about this audience. I'm feeling very warm. I'm feeling it's a connection. So I do have a uh, question to ask if you hope you can help me solve this. Um, I just want to ask, why is something only embarrassing when an attractive person catches us doing it? That's the question I pose to you <laughs> as a group. It seems like, you know what I mean? Like something's more embarrassing. I've heard this anecdote so many times. It's like, oh my God, I'm, 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 I'm at Second Cup the other day and I'm standing in line. I go to pay, grab my wallet. I reach for it and there's this, oh, this brownie all over my white pants. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, it gets worse. I turn around, hot guy standing right there. Oh my God, that's so much worse. Oh, if only he was fat, old, and bald, nobody would have seen it. It's a little, it's, yeah, it's a little close to the bone for me because I was at the bank last week, tall, attractive, blonde, just getting back from obviously working out, and she had the full on, like, she grabbed and forgot where she was, grabbed a wedge, picked it, like, full on, just wah pow, just grabbed the whole thing, and then f remembered she was in public, turned around, saw me, and was immediately immediately relieved. <laughs> it was like, oh, thank God. Oh, it's a leprechaun. Those aren't real. Thank God. Woo! Those a little close real. to the bone for me. <laughs> you said that. I did say that. Uh, speaking of real people, uh, let's, let's talk to your first guest, shall we? You feel good about that? Oh! <laughs> Uh, he is he is the he is the co-host of Interspace, which, air, which airs weekdays at six o'clock, uh, six p.m. Eastern time, and he's got his own vlog and he does a whole bunch of things, and he happens to be tall and slender and well dressed and handsome. Please welcome AJ Fry. Oh, hi. Well, hi. What a wonderful intro. Show. Thank you, Derek. Hello. Hi, Derek. We are friends. We are coworkers. Just want to yes. put that out there. Just want to. I don't want to have. I want we transparency. We go way back. We do go way back. Actually, yeah. that's true. We've Thank been you doing for this. having me on your talk show. Thank you for being on a show. First. That First time I've been on a talk show, I normally am in the is opposite that, position. Is yeah. that true? Yeah. There's no way that can be right. This is absolutely the first time I've been a talk show guest. Oh. And I want to have proper talk show guest uh, etiquette and say shout out to the band. Molly, holding it down. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. Man. Not you know, am I acing it so far? That's pretty damn good. You know how to sit there and be a talk show guest. You got so charming. <laughs> See? That's spot I'm on. I'm just living out the fantasy of what I want in a guest. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so attractive and endearing. We're going to go the Regis route and have you on frequently, because first of all, you're Sweet. sucking up to the entire team. Yeah. Yeah. You're dressed well. I wanted to say, can I be the Caroline Ray of this show? Because growing up, I idolized Conan O'Brien and watched his show religiously to prepare myself to be a talk show host, and Caroline Ray was his go-to fill-in guest whenever someone dropped out last yeah. minute, and I kind of developed a bit of a crush on Caroline Ray. So, subsequently, do. if you need a fill-in, I'm here. Oh, that's good to know. I, yeah, I will, um, oh. I'll talk to the talent booker. <laughs> I know him, so <laughs> it's me. I am also the curator, <laughs> and I also do choreography. Yeah, uh, so I saw you mopping do... up when I walked in, too. Yeah. yeah, so you're the host of Interspace. Yeah. You deal with a lot of sort of fun, nerdy things, yeah. and uh, I do have to ask you, I mean, you, you, you have fans come to you. You go to, you go, you go to uh, Fan Expo. San people Diego Comic-Con, oh. E3, all the places. Right, people come after you. Yep. They, they want photos with you, so I do have to ask this. Uh, nerds, as we are, use the term infection because I'm also one, yep. they are really big on details. Yes. Like, if you, if you get something wrong, they call you on it. Like, well, yeah. actually, if you, it's, uh, technically, 70% adamantium is in uh, uh, the shield for Captain America. So I'm curious, can you recall a time when you were super uber nerded out? Like, you were like, wow, how can you possibly know that much about this? Can you ever think of that? Uh, no one specifically, like, geeking out like that, but I've had my geekdom kind of challenged in that's, that way, yeah, that's... where uh, someone came up to me at an early con in my, like, first or second year mm -hmm. at space, and they had a costume on, and they're like, hey, what do you think? You know this. It's like, it just looks like generic <laughs> jumpsuit costume from any sci-fi show or movie ever. Right. And he's like, come on, the third season from Stargate Atlantis, the seventh episode, the replicant guy. And I'm like, I, I looks good, man. You, you nailed it. Yeah, how did I not see that? Oh, that's exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. It's like, how could you? Well, haven't you watched everything Spot I've seen? No. How is that possible? I got to know a little of everything. Okay, well, we're going to hopefully, uh, hopefully not embarrass you in this one, but we're going to talk about details once again. It's time for 10 quick questions. Real simple. Uh, you know how this works. You said yeah. you've seen the show, so that's yes. kind of nice. It's 10 rapid-fire questions. Don't ever think it. Just answer quickly. You can't get them wrong unless you do get them wrong. Molly decides. That's okay. how this works. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the noise means you're getting it wrong. So don't ever think it. Just answer quickly. Here we go. 10 quick questions. First one. Name an underrated deep-fried food. Uh, pickles. That's correct, apparently. Deep Impact or Armageddon? Which one is the Morgan Freeman one? Oh, Deep Impact. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I don't He's want so to be confident on that. Like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't want to miss a thing, or I would do anything for love. What's the needier song? 
Uh, I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, totally right. Look at the lyrics. He's right. Trust me, he's good. Uh, meatloaf or pot roast? What's worse to smell like? Mm, pot roast. <laughs> Apparently that's wrong. Apparently meatloaf is worse. I'm not the singer or the food, we don't know. Uh, speaking of that, meatloafer Gary Busey, who'd make a better secretary of education? That one's political. <laughs> meatloaf. <laughs> Very true. The audience agrees. It's probably uh, slightly savvy. fewer drugs. What's probably, ger what's probably germier, the space bar on your keyboard key or the pillow in your bed? Uh, the, the keyboard for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but Molly says yes. Uh, uh, the most you've ever been starstruck by somebody? Uh, you interview people a lot? Uh, actually, a video game developer I just finally interviewed recently, Ed Boone. He created the Mortal Kombat series. I geeked out over it when I was a kid. Correct. And I knew that, and Correct. that's why I wrote it. I did my research. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, so here we go. I once was struck by a Vespa, and it tore my Achilles tendon. True or false? True. Oh! Incorrect, but I tore my tendon, but it was in a dance-off. True story. Ah, <laughs> see, I remembered that. That part. happened. Uh, uh, what should have been Queen's biggest hit? Uh, wonder what, another one bites the dust, or I want to break free? I want to break free. Ah. Incorrect. It's another one bites the dust, and it actually was their biggest hit. I want to break free almost tore them up. And your final question. Mm. Uh, give uh, one of the seven new planets a new kick-ass name. Oh, are we naming them all after the seven dwarves? Is so that real? If you're are, feeling, are, we? That, are we doing if that? If you're feeling grumpy, you go to dopey, and then you get sleepy. Mm. Wait. <laughs> Inner space is on 6 o'clock. <laughs> 6 p.m. weeknights on space. That is A.J. Fry. Yeah, thanks for having me, buddy. Thank you so very Great much. Job. A.J. Fry. Oh, so good. Here's what's up. The comedy keeps on rolling, folks. If you find yourself at the Winnipeg Comedy Festival in April, you can check out our next, next guest there because she's doing comedy there. And <laughs> she's doing comedy here right now. She's Martha Chavez! Martha! Hey! Hey! Embrace me. Embrace me, Martha. Hey! Oh, Mike and everything. Look at that. They're ready for wow. you. <laughs> you have to speak very fast on this show. And I usually speak very fast, but then you won't understand one fucking word I'm saying. <laughs> yes. And I, I have been trying to speak better. I'm taking elocution lessons, you know? I'm going to this teacher's house to learn how to pronounce without my Spanish accent. And all you have to do is repeat things in front of a mirror, like the rain in Spain <laughs> falls mainly on the plain. <laughs> what kind of a fucking moron believes that, huh? The rain in Spain falls mainly on the homeless. That's where the rain falls. <laughs> but before being a comedian, I was, um, I, I, I studied linguistics. And I wanted to go to Japan to teach English as a second language. How are they going to know, huh? <laughs> By my, by my students wouldn't repeat stupid pronunciation exercises like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers because we know Peter never picked nothing. <laughs> Peter owned the plantation. <laughs> and it was Pedro Perez who picked a peck of pickled peppers. That is the real story. But I'm, I'm really happy that I ended up in Canada rather than the U United States. Oh, I'm so happy. I, I am a refugee from Nicaragua, and now I am in Canadian show business. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the government of Nicaragua will never be able to find me. I am actually hiding here. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's Martha Chavez right there, folks. Go oh. see her at the Winnipeg Comedy Festival. She'll be there. You should be there, too. Good night. That's time for the talk show. Oh, shit, son. Two for two. Two for two for sure. <laughs> Oh, I'm like so dying good. over here. That There's was seven awesome. seconds left. Oh. Yay! Yay! So 9.53, buddy.